Okay, here we are. I'm just going to show you what my uh, homemade night vision setups consists of. Uh, first, we've got there's the 3.5 LCD screen. Uh, as you can see, fully tiltable. Do anything I want with it. Turn it straight. Have it pointing out. Uh, spot on. This is a, an attachment that I made for the gun. Uh, inside that, I've got a, a holder. Inside the back of this, we have a bullet camera. Uh, now, you must make sure that the bullet camera is a focus, focusable bullet camera. Um, there's the rifle there, that's all that's on the back end. Camera, screen, we come down the rifle. There's my little box of tricks. This is the thing that's doing it. Uh, I'm going to actually change that because I'd like to fit it here on the scope. I have got room now, I've moved this, so I'm going to be fitting the iron illuminator on the top there, coming up and coming over the scope. Um, but that's it, there's the setup, my homemade night vision setup. What I've been showing you all, uh, and there's the back end, which as you can see is probably three inches longer than the scope, uh, plenty of room. So, overjoyed, we've done the test tonight and it's absolutely perfect. Uh, in the middle of building another torch uh, which will give us even greater ranges but this one so far is absolutely perfect up to up to 50 meters anyway uh, 50 yards sorry uh, now that's the only distance I can test it on at the moment I mean we've got uh, I'll have to take it out into my permission to uh, tie it over further distances but there we have it camera LCD screen and up the front end there uh, is, is the IR torch. So there we go. Uh, I will post up the um, tests that I just done this evening. Uh, I think you'll be quite impressed. Anyway, all the best everyone. Catch you soon. Okay lads, here we are, here's the next update on my homemade night vision. A little bit of a uh, test and stuff. The problem we had with my camera was it was not picking up the uh, the infrared uh, running at 9.40. Uh, but I'm just about to show you now uh, the tests that I'm doing with the latest um, stuff I've got. I'm going to turn the light off and then we'll show you what the test is like. Okay, the distance that I'm going to be shooting at uh, is um, actually six times, so it's it's approximately 48 to 50 yards. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch the infrared on now. There we go. I don't know how well you can see that. But there's the infrared. Uh, now I know it looks on this camera like it's actually bleaching out, but it isn't. It's absolutely superb. Just bear with me while I'm telling you. So I'm focusing in any better. Yeah, it's not as clear on the camera, but it's crystal clear on the LCD screen. Just trying to, uh, oh, I'm absolutely buzzing. The the picture on the LCD screen is amazing, it really is. Yeah, as you can see, and it's no white house at all. Yeah, it's perfect. Let me just take that off there, see if we can get a better picture. Let's try and get. Before we get on here, just bear with me. Struggling to, to focus on the screen. The actual screen, there's the. Now that's 48 to 50 meters, uh, 50 yards away, and you can see it's actually like daylight. Yeah, and that's with the new one that I've done. Uh, I'm going to be trying another one in just a second, uh, which is the 3 watt 3, uh, 3 LED IR. Uh, but that IR is absolutely fantastic. 
and that's a perfect for air gun ranges and to be honest with you I reckon I'll do a test with it tomorrow but I reckon I can probably get 60 another another 20 30 meters at least um, can't fault it at all it's absolutely perfect it's just like daylight made up with it anyway I'll, I'll just switch off and I'm gonna swap LEDs over and show you what the other one's like thanks a lot Okay, here we are with the second one. Um, I'll just flip, flip that one on. There we go. Now that's the second one. That's the three. Uh, the three LEDs. I mean, it's still a great picture, but it's not nowhere near the quality of the other one. Uh, this is the three watt three LED. Uh, running through my home homemade night vision this one actually looks better for seeing everything else that's around but for brightness wise uh, i've got to be honest I'm, i wasn't as happy with this one as i was I was with the single uh, anyway i'm going to do the test now with the white um, overjoyed with both both the ir leds running at 850 yeah i'm going to try i'll switch it off now i'm going to try the other one which is just the white light that's it actually switched off and that's the uh, the IR switched on so it's, it is working absolutely fantastic uh, just going to try it with the other one now, here we go ok, uh, here we are, this is the third test uh, that I'm going to be doing now this is with a bog standard white light uh, here we go. Now it looks, it looks like it's actually bleaching it out. Uh, but the actual picture on the screen, I've got to be honest here. Uh, with me IR illuminator, the actual picture on the screen is identical to what we're looking at now. There's no difference whatsoever. The only difference is, is the actual light. Uh, this is throwing a white beam out. Uh, this one's throwing the white beam out, and the other one is uh, is infrared, so there's no beam whatsoever. As I say, that is 48 to 50 yards. Okay, here we are to test four. I'm just going to check what this one's like. This is a uh, this is the infrared. Um, that's it on. Off. Not as you can see, but it's absolutely pitch black. I'm gonna come back down to the screen. Uh, this screen's only a 3.5 LCD screen, by the way. Uh, put the infrared on again. Now that to me is ultra ultra bright. It's like daylight on the LCD screen. Not as you can see that moving about. Uh, when you can see it going brighter on this recorder, it's not actually bleaching out on the LCD screen. It's absolutely 100% perfect, and that's a 48 to 50 yards, probably yeah, probably nearly 50 yards than it is 48. Because uh, I'm right back in the uh, kitchen, but over impressed, uh, over the moon. And I've finally got my night vision sorted, and it probably stands me, I don't know, about under pound, and it's absolutely perfect. Overjoyed. Uh, switch that off. I'm gonna uh, just put the LED ray four, the um, which is the big torch light, which cost me sixty quid. Now, there's the LED ray, as you can see. Now. I don't care what anyone says, but I can honestly say that looking at the screen now, and that's with a LED ray 4, which is a 120 meter beam, looking at the screen there now, I've got to be honest, and I'll do it again, I'd honestly say that the infrared is just as bright. 
I'll turn that off, that's the LED ray 4 going off. I'm now going to put me infrared one, the homemade one. There we go. There we go. And there's the same picture. It's absolutely superb. Yeah, let's get it up as close as we can. There we go. There's the picture. Crystal clear, 50. 48, 40, 48, 49, 50. I haven't actually taped it out exactly. But, certainly got something that will do the job now. Air rifle range is definitely uh, also point you to. Going to give it a try later on in the week uh, to see what sort of range we can get. But, so far, uh, it's been a success. Doing the homemade night vision, uh, so I'm overjoyed. Cheers, lads. Anyone wants to list, uh, just PM me and I'll sort you it out. Thanks a lot. Bye.